Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the collections module in Python. The collections module implements special container data types and provides alternatives with some additional functionality compared to the general built-in containers like dictionaries, lists or tuples. So we will be talking about five different types from the collections module the counter, the named tuple, the ordered dict, the default dict and the deck. So let's start with the counter and first of all we have to import it from collections import counter and the counter is a container that stores the elements as dictionary keys and their counts as dictionary values. So let's say we have a string called A with some different characters A, 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 B, 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 C, C, C and then we can create our counter. We say my counter equals counter and then we give it our string and if we print it then we see we have a dictionary with all the different characters as keys and their count as values. So we have 5 times A, 4 times B and 3 times C. And like with a normal dictionary, we can have a look at only the items. So this will give us all the key value pairs. We can have a look at the keys. So this will give us an iterable over the keys and we can also only have a look at the values. So this will give us all the different values. And what's also very helpful is to have a look at the most common element in our counter dictionary. So we say if we um, first print our counter again and then we can say we want to print my counter dot most common and then here how many different items so I want to see only the very first so the the most common um, element so if I print this then I will get the A with the count 5 is the most common element so if I say 2 here then it will give me the two most common types so it will also um, put the B in here and this will return a list with tuples in it so for example if I want to have a look at only the I want to see what is the most common um, element then I will ex have to access the index 0 so this will give us the tuple at index 0 and then if I only want to see the element then I will again have to access the first element of this tuple so again 0 and then I will get the A is the element that is most common in our um, string so we can also use a list here or any other iterable um, yeah we can also have a list with all, all the different elements so if we say print my counter dot elements and this will give us an iterable over elements repeating each as many times as it counts so I have to convert this to a list in order to print it nicely. So now if I print it then I will see I will get all the different elements here as a list and I can for example iterate over this. So that's the counter. Next talk about the named tuple and of course first of all we have to import it so we say from collections import named tuple and the named tuples is an easy to create and lightweight object type similar to a struct so what I can do is I can define my named tuple I say for example let's create a 2d point and call it point 
equals and then I will say named tuple and then as first argument I give it the class name so typically this is the same name that I used here and then as a second argument I use another string and here I use all the different fields I want separated by either a comma or a space so I can say x comma y so this will create a class called point with the fields x and y so now I can create this point so I can say pt equals point and then I will give it values for x and y so for example I will give it 1 and minus 4 and now if I print my point then I will see I have a point with x equals 1 and y equals minus 4 and I can also access the field so I can say pt.x and pt.y so then this will print the values for x and y. Next um, is the ordered dictionary so from collections import ordered dict and the ordered dict is just like a regular dictionary but they remember the order that the items were inserted so they have become less important now since the built-in dictionary class has also the ability to remember um, the order since Python 3.7 this is guaranteed but for example if you use an older Python version this may be a way to use a dictionary that remembers the order um, so for example let's create a dictionary um, like so and then we can append key value pairs like with a normal dictionary so we say here in brackets give it a key a and a value one and let's do this with some more key values so let's say we have B, C, and D, and 2, 3, 4. And now if you print this, then we see it's the same order as we inserted it. So, for example, if we inserted the A at the very end, then it will also get printed at the end of our ordered dictionary. Um, yeah, since here I'm using three Python 3.7, so in this um, I can also just simply use a normal dictionary now and it still remembers the order. Next, um, we have a look at the default dict. So from collections import default dict. And the default dict is also similar to the usual dictionary container with the only difference that it will have a default value if the key has not been set yet. So what we will do, we have to create a default dict and as an argument we will give it an, a default type. So let's say we want to have an int an integer here as default type and then we can fill our dictionary again let's say d of, with the key a is 1 and d um, with the key b equals 2 and let's print our dictionary so we will see it here and then we can access the keys so for example let's access uh, the key a and then it will give one and the key b will return two and now if i put in a key that does not exist so for example c then what will happen it will return the default value of an integer and this is by default a zero so I can also for example 
say I want a float default value. So then this will return 0, 0.0 if it does not exist. Or for example, I will have an empty list if it does not exist. So yeah, with a normal dictionary, this would raise a key error. So now this would raise a key error, but with the default dict, it would return the default value of the type that we specify. So as a last collections type, we will talk about the deck. So the deck is a double ended queue and it can be used to add or remove elements from both ends and both are implemented in a way that this will be very efficiently and yeah let's create a deck so let's say d equals deck and then we can append items like with a list so let's say d append one and d append two and then print it now, now we see our deck here and of also we can say we can say d dot append left so this will add elements at the left side so now we can see our three got added here and we can also again remove elements from both sides so we can say d dot pop and now if we print our deck then we will see that the with pop this will return and remove the last element so now the two got removed or we can say d dot pop left so this will return and remove the element from the left side so now the three got removed can also of course say d dot clear so this will remove all elements um, we can extend our deck with multiple elements at a time so we can see d dot extend and then give it a list let's say four five six so this will add all the elements at the right side or we can say d dot extend left so this will extend all the elements at the left side and note that um, now it will add first the four from the left side then the five and then the six so now six is the most left element in our deck um, we can also rotate our deck so we can say d dot rotate one and now if we print it we will see that this will rotate all elements one place uh, to the right i can also say for example d dot rotate two and then this will rotate all elements two um, places to the right or if i want to rotate to the left side then i will give a negative number here so if i say d dot rotate minus one then all our elements will rotate one place to the left and yeah that's all i wanted to show you about collections i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we will talk about the iter tools module in python